RoboSapien V2 is a programmable robot that engages students across all key stages. From introducing students to control technology to more sophisticated programming routines, RoboSapien encourages creative responses and experimentation. Janet Simler at South Nottingham eLearning Centre believes RoboSapien has great potential for teaching control technology and brings fun into lessons. Everything we do in the CLC is ICT based. I consider our job to be about helping schools to embed ICT in the curriculum. Control is an essential part of um, the primary and the secondary school curriculum. The RSV2 doesn't deliver all of the control curriculum by no means, but what it does is hook students in so that having seen a little result for what they've done, it gives them the incentive to go on then. Who ever said that education shouldn't be fun? It has to be fun. So that set of instructions, the programme, that's what we call it, will be executed if you tap once on that side of the body. We started um, using the robot in what they call puppet mode. They take the puppet through a range of actions and then can play that back. But then we put the robot onto monitoring mode and then when a signal's received, the robot will then run through the set of actions that have previously been programmed in by the child. As an introduction to conditional programming, that's so straightforward, unusually so. And then it can lead on to using a programming language and transmitting the program that you create in that to the RSV2. Red, green, and white. We've been doing audio and sound programs to him to make him move when you interrupt him. It's like a computer, but shaped in a human. I think you can program to do it what you want to do it. I think it's very cool and uh, it doesn't even seem like you're in school. It seems like you're somewhere just having a brilliant time. The lovely thing about the design is the variety of commands. There's a huge range. Two students can do the same thing and they get a different response. And that interests students to carry on and find out more. It's almost human-like. All abilities of students can use the robot with no problems. Using the programming language, you can explore those higher level thinking skills and you know, problem solving skills. Especially as a lot of this can be done in groups. And so interaction between students and the sharing and dissemination of ideas you know, which genuinely stretches able students can be exploited. Sometimes I don't think toy manufacturers realise what they've got. You know, it's only when you put an educationalist with the toy and you know, with someone with time to explore the functionality that you begin to realise that they can, they can be very powerful learning tools. Mm -hmm.